welcome to Shelbell's channel. This is my new app that I've just made called Babysit Me. So it's basically a baby simulator that you use with your reborn baby doll and then it will kind of give your baby a little bit of personality and just a bit of fun for you guys to have. So I just want to show you how the app actually works. So on Apple, as soon as you download it, what's going to happen is you're going to click on it and it's going to come up with a please allow notifications. You must allow notifications for this app to work or it will not work. The whole app is basically run of notifications being sent through to your phone. Sometimes you might even have to change like the push notifications into a higher setting. I'm just going to show you a basic outlay. So when you start the app, it's going to come up and it's going to have the option of choosing your baby's name so that's right here on the screen so you can go in and I'm just gonna type in a Laura you can also choose male or female or male or female so you can scroll through those go down to the start button so clicking the start button you have play mode let's click on that and you've got three schedules here to choose from so schedule one schedule two and schedule three these are three one hour schedules that are reduced time schedule compared to the normal schedules so for instance a feed might go for three minutes and a burp might go for one minute it only goes for one hour per schedule but that's because it's for a shorter attention span, maybe a younger child's having a play, or you just want to get used to the app and what the idea is. So if we click on that, I've just clicked schedule one, and this is what comes up. So we've got the notification going off, so I'm just going to turn that one off. So it tells me that the schedule has begun. And now it says that the current schedule is play mode and it tells me the exact date and time that it started running the schedule and at the bottom it says running. If I wanted to pause that schedule for any reason such as I had a visitor come to the door or I had to have a shower or whatever the reason is, you can click pause and then once you're finished doing whatever activity that is, you can resume it. Now I'm going to just hit cancel on this one and go back so it takes us back to the home screen. Let's go into start again and we're going to have a look at simulation mode. So when you click on simulation mode you have three different modes of care. So you have easy, medium and hard. Obviously easy is going to be an easier baby and hard is going to be a harder baby. The care event can possibly go for 20 minutes to feed the baby or, you know, something like that. It just depends. So let's click on easy. So this is what happens. If I click the easy schedule, the little notification tells me that it's begun. So let's turn that off. And then it started the simulation. This simulation has randomly selected one of the four easy schedules and it's now running it. Again, it comes up with the time that it starts, the schedule that's on, and it says that it's running. Now let's use the pause button. To use the pause button in the simulation mode, this is designed for perhaps, like I said maybe before, having a shower. It's up to you if you wanna leave your baby on or if you do wanna turn it off while you go in the shower. But this button is mainly designed for driving so if you were getting in the car and driving i would suggest that you press pause on your app so that it does not distract you while you're driving so let's hit resume again and it takes us back to the schedule let's go back out of here so we're going to press cancel and the third button down that we see is a cancel button now this cancel button is just put in there as a just in case 
if it glitches and for some reason you can't get the app to turn off a schedule or something like that for any reason we haven't found any reasons that it would do that is the case the cancel button has been put in there as a just in case now let's click on the fourth button down which is about now this here has just a little info of about then we click on the next one over and here are the instructions so I've written down everything that the baby does and it's just some little notes that I've written down so pretty much like the following care events do not have ending notifications so the nappy change doesn't have one the nappy explosion and the spit up they all don't have a second notification to end the care event it's just you do the nappy change and when you finish the nappy change that's when the nappy change is finished then we've got the credits so that's where all the sounds came from so the last tab is video so if we click on that tab it comes up with a demo video showing you guys how to use the app so that's in there that's pretty much everything about the app that you guys need to know um, it's very simple I've tried to make it as simple as possible as easy for you guys to use I hope that you guys enjoy this app. Thank you for watching.